way back, my mom used to crochet table mats, chair covers. So I had interest in that and I started doing it like for fun. Nighting textiles survive from as early as the 11th century CE. But the first substantive evidence of crochet fabric emerges in Europe during the 19th century. The first known published instructions for crochet, explicitly using that term to describe the craft in its present sense, appeared in the Dutch. For a couple of years, crochet making has turned into a trend measured in by the youth as a comprehensive source of income and it has contributed a lot in combating unemployment in Uganda. In the outskirts of Mutungu Bina, a suburb of Nakawa Division, Kampala, we locate Naomi Biekwazo mother of two, as well as a marketing manager at Hooks and Pulse. Biakwato dumped her professional job and started making crochet accessories. In my story with Biakwato, she started making research on different products like mats until she zeroed down to neck warmers, scarves, key holders, dolls, among others. As someone who has worked before, you, you can't just sit home and not do anything. So I was working in a women empowerment kind of setting. So I, wa I wanted to transfer that knowledge to also be able to help other women, starting with myself to earn an income. Uh, so that's how this business started. I started out with many different things. I learned this, learned that. I learned how to make bottles, learned how to make mats. So I kept doing a lot of research until I finally settled down on what I'm doing now, make warmers, and it had to be something that can be done at home because for me, family is very important as everyone else. It's, it's important for me to raise my children, but then again, it, I wanted to see how can business be done at home, a stay home mother. This is something I am as though researching on because I have a two months old baby. Judging by the environment, it's no secret that working from home seems convenient for Biquato. Starting a home-based business can create flexibility on how you spend your time and make your own money. But it isn't a quick process or a guarantee of financial success. It requires a long-time commitment and a clear understanding of the work involved. But with the rise of home-based business, more and more people are discovering ways to use remote work premises to pursue entrepreneurship with their business headquartered at home. And like any other risk in business, this ranks high in cutting costs. Starting small and growing gradually. Before you can run, you have to first to crawl. So this business, um, it is growing organically, if I can call it that. Uh, starting by opening up a shop immediately, there are very many costs that, are put, that have to be incurred. So for example, this thread that we use is imported from Kenya. Mm -hmm. So the profit margin of a, a unit piece of work is so small that if you are to rent a shop, it doesn't you will just be making losses. And this is a business, not an NGO, so surely. 
we have to make the money from the business so starting at home you cut the costs of rent it's true yeah but then it helps you to grow a bit faster when you're bigger then you can go and rent in today's connected world where technology offered us more flexibility in how and where we work home based business came in a variety of forms we later learned that crochet accessory business is the best done as a home startup i visited shalwa isele a business woman who has mastered crocheting for 5 years also operating from her home in Motundwe off Masaka Road while interacting with Shalwa she mentions that competition is one of the biggest challenges not to be skipped in the crochet business but the strongest weapon is the uniqueness the way i beat this competition is because of my uniqueness I come up with something which is unique from others. You don't have mo- most of the crocheteers, my other crochetees, they get their um, tutorials from YouTube and most of the girls are, are only working on YouTube tutorials. Now I come up with something straight from my head which is unique and it will take you time to copy. And also on competition me I look at it in a good way. I'm a very positive person. So competition will push me to make sure my product is quality. If you buy this from someone else and you buy this from me, you can tell the difference over time that this was bought from me. So competition in a way, we are all making scarves. But how competition will help us is if we work to make our product the best so that they will say ah people make things but that one has need things like any other business startup involving hands on skills raw materials and inputs should be a major concern therefore starting up a crochet accessory business requires availability of equipment I ask these business women where and how they access them and their costs. The first that I get from here I get them from Chikubo. You know I, I guess so many people know where Chikubo is. Yes, I get the robin yarn, this kind of yarn. Each skein, we call this a skein. It costs 2000, others sell them 1800, but if you're buying the full pack it's way cheaper. Yes and the tape measures a lot of things but uh except these hooks the bamboo set is imported so i have a friend of mine she's in taki she sends me the yarn multicolored yarn this which is way expensive uh in taki she can get it at like 6000 but if someone is going to sell it from uganda you can buy it at 35000 mm. and this set it costs 60,000 to get it here in Uganda. One of the key things that I want to do is quality. So, you see, uh, for example, these dolls, this is a project I'm very passionate about. So, we uh, we the the best the recommended yarn to use is cotton. Yes. So, currently we use acrylic, which is what we get from Kenya, acrylic. So, the cotton yarn here is very expensive and uh it is sad that we grow cotton in Uganda but we don't have cotton yarn here we import yarn from Kenya so actually what i what my dream is is that we shall be able to make threads in Uganda from cotton because i want my dolls to be made of cotton of course it will put the price higher because it's a superior material but again quality is something that is very high on my priority list now every entrepreneur can testify that the great job doesn't end at the production there is a whole other process to attain market for the product or service lucky enough for these ladies the new era has birthed diversity in the marketing game 
their products can find themselves buyers easily via social media platforms. This should serve them a multitude. Yes, I do because I, I have one. It's a Facebook page. It's called Crochet Africa. Yes, though I I still have a few subscribers. For those who are maybe on, not on Facebook, but ultimately. Our target is for those who are on social media, social. for now. This, however, comes with its own challenges owing to the fact that pay upon delivery module is not very suitable. Yet, it's what the customer demand for. Payments, mostly. Mm, payments. Someone will tell you that I want you to crochet uh, doilies, table runners. You invest your money, you buy yarn. The problem with online, they won't trust you. So someone will say, you crochet for me, I'll send you when the product is done. So you've invested in your energy, your materials, and the person will block you, will go quiet. Yes, yet you don't have a shop. So you're just word, word of mouth and online. One may add you out, a home-based startup saying it may fall short of continuity since there is a stage at which labor addition will be involved. For crocheting in particular, the story seems different. With the crochet products, you get some good money. Like um, this shirt, I sell it at 50,000. It takes little yarn, but the time I invest in the energy. It's not easy for me to crochet something like this with my hands for like a week or even if it's just two days. It's not easy. I get pain in my arms. I also get a stiff neck, back ache. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's, that's also a challenge. Yes. It's tiring in one place sometimes you even skip meals because you the other person is telling you i want this by sunday there is a deadline mm. for that specific project actually mm. i do have people i work with but just a few but if there was more money i would definitely have more people okay let me tell you where i hope to be at some point mm. to have maybe a work a workstation and have full-time staff that are working and are being paid constantly and someone in charge of quality control so that the products we release still represent our brand because i've seen businesses when they begin to put in other people they work just any way they want but i want to build this slowly but surely maintaining the quality because we are building a brand that will sell not just us, but Uganda as well. Yeah. So that is something that takes a while and needs money. But we shall get there. <laughs> the best home best business is the one you start because you are passionate about the work and interested in the process involved. To create a home-based business with a solid foundation and earning potential, you will need to invest time and resource into identifying the right business for you and create a plan. Smart24 TV pledges to feed your intellect with other viable and potential profitable home business that entrepreneurs can earn from lately. For Smart24 TV, I am Pedson Mumbere.